pay close attention because you're looking at one fantastic item. But this item's only been on the air one time before. It was way back in March when we introduced this to you, and they sold out completely. It's a set of two knife sharpeners that come along with a suction base, so you're never going to be having to worry about this slipping away from you or sliding all over the countertop when you're trying to handle what is considerably one of the more dangerous tools in your kitchen. This is K40140. Let's invite Eric Thies into the kitchen to show us how to use these. Welcome back, hello, sir. Hello. Boy, it took us a while to get these back in stock. I know. March, I can't believe it's been that long. Come on. So hey, we've got them back in stock, and I'll tell you, every time that you and I present this, or at least the last time <laughs> when you and I were chatting in yeah. tonight, Eric reminded me of the story that I told the first time we presented these. I, when I was a little boy, I was probably about 12 years old, my mom had a knife held a uh, handheld sh knife sharpener, and she was doing like this, and it slipped just a little bit, and she put a pretty generous cut into her hand. It's, it's hard a to very hear a story. It's a very common thing to have happen, and it's a very dangerous thing to have mm -hmm. happen. This is going to take all the worry out of it, and you're going to be able to use just about any knife in your kitchen on these. Yeah, that's right. Th this Clever Sharp is the best sharpener I'm telling you I've used because of, of a few reasons. Number one, it really, really works. Number two, it's really, really easy. And number three, it's incredibly safe. Now, David just told a horrifying story. And he said w w what his mom was doing was holding the knife sharpener. And, and a lot of knife sharpeners, either you hold, you roll, your hand is next to it, and it can cause problems. But the Clever Sharp is clever because of its patented See suction See what it did there? It's clever. <laughs> See what it did there? See what it did I'm so witty. You're punny. And punny. You're punny. But what happens with the Clever Sharp, see, I can't move it. See, look at this. So now, see my hand? It goes away. My other hand disappears. One hand operation. So I don't have anything that can possibly go wrong. Now, let, let's just talk about why it's great to have this perfect angle that we can see if we get a nice little close up. Now, I was a chef. I know how to use a sharpening steel, you guys. But if you don't know how to use a sharpening steel, let me tell you, go on YouTube and check it out. It's about 14 steps of the exact angle, the 22 and a half degree angle, in order for you to get your knife honed. And, and I don't care how many times I watch that video on YouTube with rapt attention, I still can't get it right. I know, and you know, a lot of blocks come with this and people just can't use them. So you know what? T two of these for $19.99 is incredible. Forget this thing, forget about it forever, and just take one hand and swipe it along the Cleva Sharp. Now, you can see I'm using this on nonstick knives. We've sold a lot of nonstick knives here at QVC. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, and I've always told everybody, every knife needs to be sharpened. They work great on this. But uh, what's astounding about this item is that it also works on serrated knives. Now, often, in, in I think in almost every other case, you can't sharpen serrated blades. They tell you you can't. You have to take them to a fancy sharpener. You just need Here, the right tool. You just need the right tool. See, this is tungsten carbide. It's harder than the knife. I don't care what knife we put here. The tungsten carbide sharpener is harder than the knife. Therefore, I can get a sharp edge. Now, if you get even just a little closer, guys, watch. It actually takes metal off the knife. Let me show you with this guy. I'm actually, did you see that? See these metal flakes? That's metal flake coming off the knife, putting a factory edge back onto my knife. So let me take this guy here. This is a ridiculously cheap knife. I'm telling you, I don't even know where I found it. We scavenged up a ton of knives here um, in the back kitchen. In most cases, you just need one swipe of the Cleva so you could see the steel coming off. So you want to wipe that off before you use it. But if the knife is really dull, go two or three times. Then come over and, and give it the tomato test. If you can slide through a tomato like this with a really cheap knife, let me tell you something. Your sharpener just did the job. This knife, I'm telling you, I couldn't have cut my finger with it. And now I'm going through a tomato like it's not even there. Let me tell you again and remind you what you're getting. For this price, you might think that one of these would be a good price at $19.98, and you'd be correct. We're going to give you two of these. You get a blue one, you get a red one. Now, you may be wondering, how does that suction cup part work? There's a little arm here. When it's up, the suction cup is not engaged. When you push it down, it's now locked to the tabletop. Pick this one up, lock it down. Now I'm holding on to the knife sharpener, and look what's out when empty your whole table. But look at this. I'm moving the table. These things are so securely 
suctioned to the table. Good luck pulling those off with your bare hands. You wouldn't be able to. And that, and that, David, that's why it's safe, right? That's why it's patented. This is the original. Don't be fooled. There, there are ones out there that look like this, but the Cleva Sharp is the original. So take a look at the suction cup. I have it inside my little uh, baking dish here. I can pick the baking dish up. Now, okay, why is that a big deal? It's a big deal because we're about the story that David told you at the beginning of the presentation. Yeah. His mom cut her hand because she had her hand in the way while she was sharpening the knife. This knife doesn't, this sharpener doesn't move. So when I take it over to sharpen my knife, whatever knife that might be, see my hand? I don't need it because this doesn't move. I just glide it through the Cleva Sharp and it actually takes a bit of the metal off the knife, as you can see, that's a great shot. And what it's doing is it's restoring my knife to a factory edge, so I'm able to cut really, really amazing things. I will things. tell you also, it's usually not a sharp knife that will cut you, it's a dull knife. Sadly, a dull knife won't cut anything else, but it cuts your hand beautifully. It really does, you so, know, because you slip off of it and well, at, at a really fast pace. you're applying more pressure that's exactly because right. the knife is dull. So there's an old adage that says it's not a sharp knife that cuts you, it's typically a dull knife, and that's right. So what you want to be able to do is have the kind of sharpening system that will restore a beautiful new edge to that knife, whether it be a straight edge knife, a serrated knife, or even your scissors. Your scissors, your mandolin blades, your uh, food robo processing your blades. food processing blades, Everything needs to be sharpened, guys. There's nothing that doesn't. If somebody tells you it doesn't need to be sharpened, they're lying to you. Oh. So look at this. I can sharpen my um, mandolin blades. These blades need to be sharpened just like everything else. But again, my hand is not in the way, and I don't have to worry about cutting myself. Let me tell you that we are rather busy. 6,000, almost 500 are gone. 2,000 people just jumped on the phone lines. And to quote Eric earlier, um, if someone tries to sell you a set of knives and tells you that they never need to be sharpened, those same people probably have a bridge in Brooklyn they'll sell you. <laughs> so it's going to be important for you to understand that at some point, the blade that you use in your home will need sharpening. And that's why you need a great set like this one. Now, lots of folks are buying more than one, and that makes perfect sense because this makes an ideal gift. There is not anybody who's watching us tonight who at some point doesn't use a knife in the kitchen, whether they are a very novice cook or an experienced chef. We all need a knife, a pair of scissors, something in the kitchen. This is going to be the set that does this for you each and every time. These are suctioned to the table. I am shaking the table <laughs> with the sharpener, but look at this. All you do is release the little arm here, and then the suction releases, and they come off. Push it back down, and that bad boy is there to stay until you take it off again. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> These are really, really clever. Yeah, they are clever. And you know what? Again, it works, it's easy, and it's safe. And that's really what you want. So look at this. I have my, my little toolbox here. I actually stole this from Nick. And look, I, I suck. Nick I, is I, one I, of our stylists. I yep. suctioned on our clever sharp right to the top of my box. So whenever I want it, whether it's my fishing box, my cooking box, my tackle box, I have a sharpener right there at my ready all the time. So even if I want to take out one of these old kitchen knives. Wouldn't this be great? Think about someone who's a fisher, uh, who does a lot of fishing. Yeah. And this becomes a perfect holiday gift for them because chances are very good they've got a knife in their tackle box for cleaning fish after they catch them. This is going to be ideal for that. And maybe you've got a drawer full of old knives at home. You can't part with them because you know that at one point in their life they were good knives, but you don't have the money, time, or the gadget at home to make them sharp again. Right. You do now if you make this purchase because this is something you'll use time and time again on literally every blade in your home because it works on straight edge, serrated blades, even your food processing blades and your scissors. It's extraordinary. Now look at this old kitchen knife. I'm telling you, David, we found a, a lot of nasty knives here. Look, this is uh, rusty and horrible. Look at this, it looks like something you wouldn't even hack a piece of wood with. Yet I did one swipe through the Cleva and look at how thin I can cut that tomato slice. Look at that. You can almost see through it. And, and I'm not laboring or anything. Now let me, let me show you something crazy. This, this, guys, this isn't something that you might do at home, but what I like to do is show everybody that with these steels, if you don't use them right, you can actually take the edge off of your blade. You can blunt the knife. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do that. I'm gonna blunt it, I'm gonna take it about four times across my sharpening steel, and then I'm gonna try to cut a sponge with it. Look at this. Look how hard I'm pushing on this sponge. You can see my hand is working hard. 
I cut it a little bit, but it's not going all the way through. Look at this. This is right. horrible. Look at that. Now, so that knife, you would think, is ruined. You would think it's ruined because I just took the blade off. Now, I'm just going to run it through the clever. Now, look, my hand is nowhere around. It's very safe. Because it's really dull, I'm going to go three or four times. Then I'm going to go back to the same exact sponge and see if I can get through it. Oh, No hello. problem at all. And then not only that, look at this. Right through my tomato. And I took the edge completely off that knife. I couldn't even cut a sponge. Now it's back to a factory fresh blade. I love this little thing because it's easy and it works. We should say little things because you get <laughs> you two get of two, them. That's right. Yeah, exactly. You get the blue and you get the red one. You don't choose. You get them both. You're getting both of these for $19.98. They are customer top rated. They've been on the air only one time before and sold out completely. I can tell you now that we have taken orders for for the day. <laughs> 11,800 in this show alone, over 10,000 in this show alone. We're super, super busy. It doesn't even begin to tell the story. So please use automated ordering. Go to QVC.com. Use that QVC mobile app. And I will tell you, Carl is waiting to chat with us oh, in New York. Carl, how are you? Hey, Carl. Good, David. How are you tonight? Doing very well, sir. Nice to have you here tonight. And what do you think of this set of two knife sharpeners? Oh, uh, I'll tell you what, deer season is coming up, Kevin and Eric. and. Uh... Uh, uh, David and Eric, and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it uh, because the deer hunting season, and we uh, beautiful. We uh, we we just use that other tool that he had there, and nobody knows how to use it. So this would be the <laughs> <we're> great. <laughs> Well, this is going to be ideal. And for all the different kinds of blades you may be needing, Carl, this is going to do the job for you, both uh, straight edge and serrated. It certainly will. Both were used, you know, and we cut up a lot of venison, and this is going to work out a lot better than what we've been doing the past couple falls for cutting up venison. Well, that's going to be perfect. Carl, we're thrilled we had these for you tonight. We'll get them out to you straight away and wish you a safe and happy hunting season, okay? Same to you. I'll be sure I'm going to be talking to someone there again. I really appreciate everything you do, David. You're great on the show. Thank I you very much. I appreciate that, He's sir. He's great. You're he? a good man. I appreciate that, Thanks, Carl. Eric. Be well and happy holidays to you, happy buddy. Happy hunting. Same to you guys. All right, man. Bye bye now. Now, $19.98. We're very, very busy on our phone lines. To be clear again, you're not getting one for this price. That'd be a great price even if you were only getting one. You're getting two. So you get the blue one, you get the red one. And remember also that all you have to do is lift this little arm and that releases the suction. When you're ready to put it back down, simply just push it down. You'll hear it clip. And then I'll push this one down. You hear it clip. Now, check this. I'm going to shake that pineapple right off the other end of the table here. But look at this. This is not moving. It's not coming loose until I pop the arm and I take it up and off. That is what makes these so extraordinary. That and the fact that it's a superior sharpening tool it, for a rock bottom price. It, it really is. And again, let me, let me stress the tungsten carbide sharpening system in here. It is set at the perfect angle. The angle that only really skilled chefs, really fancy chefs know how to get with this, and let me tell you something, this will not sharpen your knife as well as this. So all I need to do is just give it a gentle pull. In most cases, just one. See the metal that just fell off there? That's a factory fresh blade. It's beautiful. I will tell you, we started the day with 22,000 sets of these knife sharpeners. 6,500 remain, and I have 3,500 people on the phone lines. This is rocking out the door. I will tell you, please be patient on the phone lines. Please use automated ordering. Go to QVC.com. I can also tell you in the next hour and 15 minutes, just about every item we're going to be showing you is going to put us right back into orbit on the phone lines. <laughs> so please use automated ordering at 1-800-345-1212. Go to QVC.com. Use your QVC mobile app. And also, if you can, text your order. Standard text messaging rates will apply there. This is k 401 Four zero. Let's welcome Susan in Ooh. Texas. Susan, how are you? I'm fine, David. How are you? Hey, We're Susan. doing very well tonight. Nice to have you here. What did you think of the set of two Cleva knife sharpeners? Well, I think it's great. I'm looking forward to it and really excited because uh, I need some knives to be sharpened. I have that other little thing in the jig, but I can't use it for nothing. Yeah, I tell you yeah. what, it's uh, when you don't have a sharp knife in the kitchen, everything slows down. You increase your danger factor, you know, exponentially because again, it's usually not a sharp knife that cuts you. It's a dull knife because you're working harder. Right. Oh well, this is going to be ideal, Susan. You'll be able to breathe new life into all those old knives. You know what? If even just sharpening your scissors saves you so much money instead of buying new. Exactly. 
I see that. I see that. So I'm really, really excited. Wonderful. Well, Susan, stay tuned tonight. We've got a big, big finish to our show. About another hour and 10 minutes together, but some really marvelous things to share with you, okay? Great. Thank you, David. And you're awesome. Thank you're you. very sweet. Thank hey, you. Happy nice holidays to, to you, Susan. Take care. Bye bye now. So, again, you're getting both. You're getting the blue and you're getting the red. I will tell you now that we started the day with 22,000 sets. Fewer than 4,200 remain and 3,700 people on the phone lines. And bear in mind, a lot of those folks are ordering more than one set. These are going to go very, very quickly. This is K40140. Mr. Thies. Oh, I have trivia for you, buddy. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to get out without nope, that. Nope, 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 nope. All right, we're making my sweet potato pie tonight. Okay. Sweet potatoes are the official vegetable. Of which state? Is it North Carolina, Louisiana, Michigan, or Virginia? I'm gonna go with my favorite one of those states. Which is? North Carolina. You would be correct. Yeah. North Carolina, the Tar Heel State, woo, is the number one producer of sweet potatoes in the U.S., this according to the North Carolina Sweet Potato Commission. Ooh. More than 40% of the national supply of sweet potatoes comes from my home state in North Carolina. Oh, I didn't know that was your home state. That's a lot of sweet taters. <laughs> yes, it is. Merry sweet taters. They're everywhere. All right. So we're also going to tell you we've got wine, the perfect thing to wash down sweet potato pie. Well, you know what? Well, who I am I kidding? Wine is good to wash down everything. <laughs>